Hello everyone! My name is Pallescent Moon and welcome back to another video. This time I decided to create an artwork and really show you guys that I love creating pieces of work in general outside of Minecraft. I did have my curtains open for some natural light but you'll see the sun decided to be angry and get super bright so I had to switch to room light. Anyway, these drawings originally started out with me sketching a random fish in my notebook while I was away camping over the weekends. When I came back home, I decided to redraw it with more refinement and use it as an excuse to trial out more mediums over just my usual black and white fine line of work. When that one worked out, I decided to try drawing another one, but with a more dynamic pose and more experimentation with colour palettes. This is how the second one came to be. If you have any constructive criticism or suggestions as well, feel free to let me know in the comments below as I always like to improve my work with each new creation. My fish illustrations have been created using a HB woodless graphite pencil, 0.4 fine liner, ultra micro waterproof uniball pen, a white ink uniball pen, Copic markers, Renault art markers, and Yoken markers. All the marker types are alcohol based, and the work has been created on 70 GSM bleed proof paper. Drawing these illustrations on a smooth surface paper works so much better than rough paper as you can blend them a lot easier. You also don't want the ink to be absorbed into the paper because then that, that'll give you feathering. So I found this paper was the best use for me personally and I definitely recommend it. The Yoken branded markers used to be what my dad used when he did illustration and animation quite a few years ago. So the markers have some age to them and are quite hard to find and buy at present time. Unfortunately, the olive green did start to run out, but I replaced it with the olive from my Copic set. I, fun fact, I actually went out shopping to buy a few extra Copic markers because I found myself missing a few that I needed to make this work. I did have the intent to film that, but um, silly old me pressed the, uh, the record button when I thought I was stopping the video. So that, that didn't quite work out. <laughs> but anyway, I did have to go buy a few extras, so I uh, ended up with couple additions to my set. The Renault art markers on the other hand are cheaper branded markers that my family originally found in an Australian $2 store. However, if you're from Australia you'll know that $2 stores aren't really $2 stores. They're 50% $2 products and the other 50% is over that threshold. <laughs> These markers retail for around 4 Australian dollars last I remember, however I haven't picked any up in a while and could be wrong. Regardless, I find their quality is really quite usable and they have a great effect to the point where I could blend them well with my Copic marker set. I definitely recommend this brand if you're looking for a place to start with alcohol markers. If you guys would like to see more of this type of content and if you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below as that helps me get an idea of what you all would like to see. Now I'll let the video run its course. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I have more videos both Minecraft and art related coming soon. I watch them slip away as far as I can see. I let them roll astray. It did not bother me. The sun is shining through every window pane. It's bathing you in light. So why should I?
Let the sun shine in the day I'm trying to make this darkness go away I'll paint with colors And I'll sing until my lungs give out I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day And I will leave my windows open So that I can hear the sound of Yeah. 
Beauty.